Hi there, Tracy Tutty, Medical Herbalist and High Performance Coach. Today we're going to be talking about a method of discovering more about your herbs. So, uh, as you know, the job of a medical herbalist is to connect you with the herbs that your body is already searching for. We have a variety of herbs that do, from a scientific perspective, similar things. You know, we have a bunch of herbs that are anti-inflammatory, for example. But the magic happens when you are connected with the herb that's working best for your body. And there's a whole range of factors that come into play in relation to that and we can talk about that another time because today I want to talk to you about an exciting process called organoleptics. So organoleptics is one of the methods that herbalists use to get to know their herbs better. Um, in addition to this, it's a great way for checking for quality um, and it's a great way for making sure that you have the herb that you think you have, which is really important. So, Organoleptics has been around for a very long time. You know, there are um, documents that show that the Greeks used it, for example, to make sure that their herbs weren't adulterated, um, to make sure that their herbs were fresh and that they were the herbs that they thought, and also to get to know the herbs and to understand how the herbs interact with your body. It's also used in the beer and the wine industry and also in the food industry. Um, and essentially what it is, is it's about using all of our senses to discover more about how a particular herb, in this case, is interacting with our body, our mind, our soul, our spirit, and our emotions. Um, and I'm gonna take you through the process today. So to do this, you need either a herb in the form of a herbal tea, or a herb in the form of a tincture. Now, if you're using a tincture, um, you want to be adding some warm water to it so that the alcohol will evaporate. So a tincture is um, a process where the herb is macerated in an alcohol and water combination. And these are used particularly for herbs where um, they have phytochemicals which prefer an oil or an alcohol um, constitution in order to move those chemicals out of the herb. Um, so that's a tincture and you would add hot water to it to evaporate off the alcohol because you want to remove the sensation of the alcohol when you're understanding how the herbs interacting with your body. For our purposes today, and this is my preference when you're using organoleptic sensing with your herb, is to use a herb tea. Um, and the way that we do this is that we want the tea to be quite weak um, and we also want the tea to be not very hot. So um, I've made a little tea here and I'm going to tell you what it is at the end of it. So here you can see, this is my tea, which has been brewing. So as you can see, it's a weak tea. Um, I have a lid on it, so you can do it either in a teacup or in a cup. And the reason why I have the lid on the herb is because I want to make sure that all those delicious volatile oils are staying with the herb while I'm doing my organoleptic testing. Because as soon as you apply hot water, they will evaporate. So to make your herb tea for this purpose, you want to be making a weak tea, so one or two teaspoons of your herb. Um, and then I make it up in a cup with a lid on, as you can see. And the trick to not getting it too hot is to put a third of um, cold water in first and then top it up with boiling water from the jug. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the lid off and I'm going to take you through the process. So removing the lid, sorry, doing this off camera. Um, and I'm going to take the herb out of the liquid, pouring it away. Here we go. It's pouring away, it's pouring away, it's pouring away. Okay. And so now I'm left with my delicious herb tea. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Check out that colour. Okay. So here's what we do. So the first thing we want to be doing is, as I said, we're going to be using all of our senses. So we're using sight, sound, feel taste and mouth feel as well so feel as in how it feels within your body within your soul within your mind within your emotions and then mouth feel as well and i'll give you some more information in a handout that i've done um, and i'll give you some information on how to download that because that will show you how the mouth feel can actually give you a clue as to which plant chemicals or phytochemicals are included in this herb so here's my beautiful herb so we begin first of all just by noticing the color so looking at the color, different herbs provide different colors um, in the liquid compound. Um, and you are recording anything that it reminds you of. So what does the color remind you of? So for me, that reminds me of a sunny day. Um, I love that color. Actually, it's a, you can't quite see it on the camera, but it's a beautiful golden yellow. I think you can see it a little bit on the camera there. So 
So you start by observing the colour and just noticing any um, memories or sensations that this brings to mind and record them. The next thing you want to do is you want to inhale the aroma. So you're just allowing the aroma of the herb to fill your nasal passages. Doing this with your eyes closed because we're removing the, that, um, the opportunity of using sight for this and we're just noticing the smells or the scents the tones that we're getting on this herb. So as I'm inhaling it, I'm noticing a number of different smells. So I'm noticing top notes, middle notes, and base notes with this herb. The top notes are very sweet. There's a little bit of sharpness to it. And then I've got a sort of a middle note that reminds me of hay. It smells a bit like hay. And then there's a sort of an earthy undertone to it as well. So I'm getting three or four very different um, scents, which are all sort of melding into one overall sensation. And as I'm doing this, as I'm inhaling, I'm also noticing how I'm feeling in my body. So for example, as I'm inhaling, I notice that my nose feels a little clearer, my mind feels a little bit sharper, my eyes feel a bit heavy. So do this for a while until you've exhausted all of the possibilities in relation to noticing how this particular herb smells. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to taste it, but we're not going to gulp it down. So the first thing we're going to do, just like a fine wine, is we're going to taste it, we're going to roll it around our mouth. So roll it over the tongue, under the tongue, and all through the mouth. Hold it in your mouth for a little while while you discover the sensations and then swallow. So let's do that. Hmm. And the, so the first thing I notice is that this has quite an oily sensation in my mouth. Followed by a drying sensation. I notice the sharpness and the sweetness first of all and now there's sort of a mellow aftertone and I'm starting to feel a little warm in the top of my head once I've imbibed it. So let's have another taste. Mm, it's very very tasty, very pleasant. I'm getting a warm calming sensation. I can feel it particularly in my the top of my head, like my eyes, my sinuses, my head, also in my chest. I can feel a warmth and an opening and a loosening, actually, if I was going to describe it that way. Now I'm getting a sensation in my ears where my ears feel like they're draining a little bit. Oh, it's quite fun. Um, and I'm definitely getting a sense of calmness and a sense of warmth and peace. I'm going to have another drink now. Mm, that's quite lovely. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling very much that sense of calmness. My mouth feels moist, which suggests to me that there isn't a lot of astringency going on in this herb. Um, and my ears and my sinuses and my eyes definitely feel like they're clearing a little bit as well was to describe it that way and I've got this wonderful calming like a big blanket almost sense of warmth through my um, chest all the way down from my head down to my chest it's quite lovely actually <laughs> it's very nice um, the other thing you can do I'm just gonna put my tea down when you're doing this is just become aware of any other um, sensory input that you might get some people see colors some people see shapes. Does it remind you of a shape? So this feels like quite a rounded sort of shape to me if I was going to describe it that way. Um, and then just generally be open to any sort of sensations that are coming through. The other thing you can do is this is, as you can see, it's quite a mindful exercise. So it's a very calming exercise and it's really about opening up your senses to the herb because different people will react differently to herbs. So one of the great things about this is it's great to do it in a group and you will notice that there are a lot of similarities and also some differences in the sensation of the herb. 
And the great thing is you can't get this wrong because it's such a personal thing. Now, I know you're probably thinking, so what was the herb that Tracy was describing? Well, it is elderflower. And it's interesting because the sensations that I was getting are similar to the uses that we, we use elderflower for. It's um, a decongesting herb. It's one of those herbs that's very calming. So, for example, if you have a lot of hay fever where you've got all that congestion and the irritation in your eyes and your nasal passages, you know, you do find it hard to, to come to a place of calmness and to rest. And elderflower is a wonderful before bed tea to help you to decongest and to calm. It's also a herb that we use in our traditional cold and flu tea, which is equal parts of elderflower, peppermint and yarrow. And you can really get that sensation of it heating the body. So when we have colds and flus, we want to heat the body so that we provide an inhospitable environment for any um, germs that are lurking around. Um, and it definitely does that. And I also noticed that clearing and that soothing in the upper respiratory tract and a little bit down into the lungs as well, which is one of the traditional uses of elderflower as well. So that is a brief introduction to organoleptics. I will also be including a handout um, with, and I have information at the end of this on how you can download that. And that is going to take you through this process of organoleptic tasting so that you've got a formula to follow as well it just makes it super easy anyway i hope you enjoyed discovering elderflower with me and learning about organoleptics i look forward to talking to you soon take care bye